Hi everybody, this is uh, Paul here. I'm doing on a Sunday uh, something I really enjoy, which is barbecuing. I just started uh, the pizza oven. Uh, today we wanted to uh, use the pizza oven since we hadn't done it for a while. And uh, we created a smoker here. And this here is like a hot warmer and we love to uh, cook our, pre-cook our beans here. Sometimes we pre-cook our meats to make it more tender. And um, so we created this uh, pizza oven a barbecue area last year. And it truly, truly has uh, generated a lot of benefits for us. Uh, some people have asked how much did it cost. Uh, I would say less than $2,000. Um, the most expensive is the material, uh, especially for the roof. Uh, that's very, very expensive, but otherwise it was easy, well, easy to build. I didn't have to build it, but it was easy to build. And here is some of the wood uh, that we use for smoking, which is either cedar or guayaba. We have a whole bunch of varieties. We got five different piles around the property. And here is our veggie spice garden and in the uh, we grow rosemary we grow sage cilantro culantro lemongrass coriander and many many more and we also have spinach and um, five six different variety of hot peppers most of the hot peppers are in the front yard which i will take to you i'll take you there in a little bit but here it's like I said, our uh, back garden. And here is one of the five different water um, tanks that we use to collect uh, rainwater. Here I'm going to take you to the front gate. This is basically the secondary gate of our property. And of course, two of our dogs came out, which I love. Uh, this is a new kennel that we just created uh, for some of our dogs. And here, this is the front uh, acre where we have a variety of bananas. We got five different bananas. And we also planted, uh, well, on the property we have oranges, avocado, lime, lemon, grapefruit, sour and sweet oranges. So a big variety. And here, you will see the front area where we are also growing tomatoes, a different variety of uh, hot peppers. If you know just Lynn, uh, then you also know she loves hot peppers. Here's some of the different hot peppers we have. I don't see the, uh, the, the purple ones, but we also have some purple. And we're trying to uh, grow some pineapple. Uh, this has been a um, trying uh, event. This is uh, almost a year uh, of growth, but we're trying it. You know, if you don't try, you don't succeed. And one thing that I've, we have done also on the property is start planting teak. Here in the front, uh, we have planted 150 of them. Uh, excuse me. Uh, uh, 50 and then on the side of the other part of the property we uh, are we have another hundred so my strategy basically is every time I cut a tree I try to plant uh, 25 to 50 uh, uh, teak and here is the different oranges or grapefruits that we have or limes as you can see, this is pretty dry, and the reason we're now in the dry season, and uh, that'll last another probably three months. Uh, and what we have done is, like I showed you in the uh, in the previous uh, part of the video, is that we create and have a lot of tanks where we are recovering rainwater. This is our area where we basically throw all our uh, 
our greens or vegetables, etc. And so this is our compost pile, which is growing pretty good, working pretty good. And we surrounded it with some of the cactus that we got, uh, which we are growing out. What you will see, of course, on the property is lots of cactus. So that we have it lined uh, the whole two and a half uh, uh, hectares, which is a little bit over four acres. We have lined up with cactus. So there's over a thousand cactus, and that's why we call the cactus ranch. Just have a name different. And here are some. Uh, what is this? Help me out. Okay, um, I know the Dutch word, but that doesn't help you, right? Uh, they smell good, that's what I can tell you. Sorry about that, folks. You know, we don't always have the information. Sometimes we need somebody else to help you out to get the right info. And here is one of our two uh, star fruit trees. Uh, this uh, coming week we will be harvesting and creating juices uh, from it. Now this was the main, well, I wouldn't say the main, but this is one of the big reasons we fell in love with the, the properties to drive up. It really uh, creates um, a feeling of relaxation. It's just gorgeous. Uh, we don't sit out here that much in the front, but we do go to our vegetable garden often, probably on a daily basis. Yes, that's one thing you have to get used to is the dog barking. Oh, I forgot to tell you, we also have coconut. And yes, when I create uh, some of my Indonesian recipes, I use fresh coconut. Why not, right? And here's another of our wood piles. Um, you know, we... Whatever we can grab from the land, we will use and replenish. That's my motto right now. So as a city slicker, I'm very, very surprised that I'm enjoying this as much um, versus living in a city. And this is some uh, metal work that we're doing right now to create some gates. And this is two of our friendly dogs. Not really, not friendly but well trained for sure okay y'all i hope you enjoyed this video about living on a farm as an expat uh, that used to be a city slicker if you enjoyed it uh like it and leave a comment thanks have an awesome day